Thanks. Okay. What started your journey into costume? Uh, well, so I went to Dragon Con, uh, which is a convention over in Atlanta for the first time uh, a few years ago, and I uh, didn't cosplay or anything, just went, and I uh, just kind of fell in love with the whole concept there, and started to get involved with it there, and realized some of the really cool things that people were doing with it, how they were able to support charity, and, you know, get, bring a lot of people together of uh, different backgrounds and things like that, and it just really appealed to me, so uh, I started cosplaying after that, started going to conventions and stuff, and then you know, eventually became uh, as involved as I am now. What is your inspiration towards your costume and character? Uh, so for me, mostly cosplaying actually is just about having fun and uh, meeting people and connecting people. Um, you know, I, I pick characters that uh, just appeal to me on a personal level that I think I would have fun doing or you know, creates a fun situation, that kind of thing. Um, I'd really like to, uh, to do like a superhero costume because they really get a lot of love from the kids and things like that. Um, but uh, I, uh, you know, mostly just do it for fun because I think it's, uh, it's a really cool thing to do. How does your friends and family feel about your cosplay? Uh, my friends and family are uh, really supportive. Uh, actually, my, my mother helps me with all of my cosplays. Uh, she's a really good seamstress, and so she actually made most of this outfit that you can see here. And um, I got a lot of other friends that uh, help me. I'm really collaborative by nature, so I kind of just force people to help me with my cosplays. Um, so I had some people help me with the crown and everything as well. And uh, both of my parents are really supportive, uh, all of my friends. Actually, most of my friends are probably cosplayers, so I would say they're incredibly supportive of it for the most part. What is your general perception for people that are uh, looking from the outside in, like people that don't cosplay? Um, I think there's a lot of people who don't understand it, uh, at first especially, but um, I think the people that um, are actually willing to approach and engage with cosplayers generally find us to be pretty open and, uh, you know, pretty... Uh, accepting of, of all kinds of people and everything. Um, I think there are a, a lot of people that once they kind of see what it's about, really get interested in it and they want to be a part of it. Um, especially because I think we're so welcoming to uh, so many different kinds of people. What advice could you give uh, for some, what advice could you give to someone that's just starting out doing this? Um, I would say, um, just don't be afraid to jump in. Uh, your first cosplay is not going to look perfect. Your second cosplay is not going to look perfect. Your third cosplay is not going to look perfect, and so forth and so on down the line. You know, I mean, it's just uh, you can only work with the materials you can find. You can only, you know, there's a lot of constraints when you're doing cosplay. Um, I would also tell people that. Um, you know, lean on other people's expertise. You know, reach out to people that you know that are other cosplayers. Try to find a group in your local area and, and try to connect with them because they can share a lot of their knowledge and things that they've been able to do as well. And um, I'd also say just you know, be prepared for uh, you know some people the fact that some people aren't going to understand it or that they're not going to recognize your character and things like that. And just put it all in perspective for yourself. But um, most importantly, I would say um, do it for your own reasons. Don't do it for popularity. Don't do it for fame. You know, don't do it for to make money. You know, that kind of stuff. Do it because you love it, or do it because you want to support charity or something. You know, find something in it that really motivates you as a person, and, and focus on that because then you won't worry so much about the perfection or the details of your cosplay. Like that. What do you see the outcome of cosplay in the future? Like uh, ten years from now, do you think it's going to be bigger or it's going to fade? Um, I don't think cosplay is going anywhere. I think it's pretty much on a rocket trajectory to the top. I mean, if you look at just the way that, like, you know, geeky movies and things like that have invaded our popular culture, you know, things like the Avengers and, you know, these other comic book movies and stuff, I think people are going to just get more and more interested in it because it's becoming more and more mainstream. More and more people are being accepted of it. And um, I think you're just going to see it take off, really, even more than it has already. If you have anything to promote. I do. Um, so I um, want to make sure everybody realizes that we, uh, most of the people, or quite a few people you might even see on this video, are part of the North Alabama Cosplayers Club. We're a multi-fandom group that uh, supports charitable events and goes to conventions, has workshops, helps each other with our cosplays. Basically, just provides a fun and safe environment for cosplayers to connect with each other and to work on their cosplays and show them off. Um, we also um, try to connect people with other cosplay professionals, like photographers, videographers, um, prop makers, and things like that. And I um, also want to mention a couple of uh, conventions and things that I'm involved with. Uh, the first one is SplashCon, which is a um, mini convention that we're going to be doing at Point Mallard Park in Decatur on Saturday, August the 8th. It's kind of a um, swimsuit cosplay type convention where everybody comes and gets to have fun in the water park and everything. We're going to have like a catered lunch and photographs and things like that. And then um, also I uh, would mention the uh, Geek Gathering that we uh, a lot of the members of NAC support. Uh, that's in uh, September 19th and 20th in Sheffield, Alabama. And um, it's a multi-fandom convention that supports um, all kinds of guests and 
cosplay guests and uh, vendors and you know pretty much just a regular old convention. Uh, it's kind of small right now, but we hope to see it grow.